Okay. Now we will come to uh, we know now know the vector that connects two points. Now we come to the section formula. Okay. Section formula. Now section formula is something that we have already done in the normal coordinate geometry, right? We have done it. So can you can you derive it? Can you derive that? What is the section formula first of all? Section formula does what? If you are given the end points, okay. If you are given the end points of of a line segment, okay. So, so something like that. And you say that there is a point. So, so let this point be. Okay. So let this point be um, P x1 y1 this point and this be Q x2 y2 and I want to know the coordinate of this point provided we know that it it divides the whole line segment in the ratio m is to n okay this is what is section formula or maybe not essentially that suppose you are given this point then you might be asked that that in what what ratio does it divide okay so so any of the unknowns okay but for our starting point i'll take that we are given the two end points there's a line segment that joins it line segment that joins it and we have a point somewhere which is supposed to divide it in the ratio m is to n internally okay so this is this we are doing uh, internally okay internal our point the unknown point should remain in between these two where it goes out of it it becomes externally okay it becomes external so so we'll do both the cases so so how do we go about it how do we go about it what we do is we draw a line like that and another line like this to cut it here so p r say this is s this is t okay and this is 90 degree obviously since these two lines are parallel p s is parallel to r t because they are all parallel to the x axis so so they are parallel to each other so this angle is equal to this angle so what happens triangle triangle psr is similar to triangle triangle rtq how a a criterion a a criterion okay this is 90 this is equal to that and hence the third will have to be equal if two of the angles are equal the third has to be equal you know that hmm? we have been taught that that's why triple a criterion reduces to double, double a criterion right now if the triangles are similar what happens the sides the corresponding sides become proportional is it not so the correspond and and what, what are the corresponding sides the sides which are opposite to the to the same angle to the identical angle so so what is the angle here this what is the side opposite to this this opposite to 90 it is pr opposite to 90 here is qr so pr and qr are corresponding sides okay so 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 let us do that so so opposite to this angle okay this angle which is equal to this angle here opposite to this angle we have ps so i say ps upon upon opposite to this here is 
आर टी इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू ऑपोजिट टू नाइन्टी इज पी आर पी आर अपॉन ऑपोजिट टू नाइन्टी इज आर क्यू ना वॉट इज पी एस वॉट इज पी एस इफ यू इफ यू इफ यू सी इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स सी दिस इज एक्स दिस फुल इज एक्स इज नट दिस दिस फुल थिंग इज एक्स एंड वॉट इज दिस What is this? This is x1. Is it not? That is the definition of the coordinates. What is the coordinate? What is the x coordinate? The distance that you move along the x axis or parallel to the x axis. That is the distance from the y axis. That is your x coordinate. What is y coordinate? The distance that you move parallel to the y axis or on the y axis or 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 the distance from the x axis so see this is x1 you understand this is x1 this is x so what is this this is x minus x1 is it not hmm hmm correct now this whole thing is x2 because x2 if this is x2 it means it is the distance that i travel along the x axis so this whole is x2 and and this is x x so so let me let me do that so so this is x2 and this is x so what is this this is x2 minus x correct this is x2 minus x so ps ps is x minus x1 upon rt is x2 minus x now you see what is pr if the ratio is m and n we normally uh, we normally say uh, what is the ratio whenever we are talking about ratios it means that there is some common factor that has been cancelled so if there are two people and their salaries are in the ratio 1 is to 2 it does not mean that one is getting rupee 1 and the other is getting rupee 2 one may be getting rupee 1 crore and another may be getting 2 crore and it is crore that has been cancelled okay so so we say that the length absolute length is mk divided by nk okay it is that factor that has been cancelled okay so whenever you are dealing with ratios always keep that in mind that if you want the absolute value if you say you want the absolute value of of the ratios then you take it as 1k and the other one is getting 2k and then there may be another relation that will give you what is the value of this k for example you must have done these questions that the that the angles of a triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3 huh so find the angles so so they are actually absolute values are 2k 2k and 3k and what is the relation that will 180, 180. the sum giving you 180 so k plus 2k plus 3k giving you 180 so 6k is that's great 30 60 so the angles are 30 60 and 90 okay so that's how it goes so i am doing the same thing mk upon nk in any case they cancel so you get n into x minus x1 is equal to m into x2 minus x and you get nx minus nx1 is equal to mx2 minus mx so i collect all the x on to the left hand side so i get m plus n x is equal to mx2 plus nx1 so x becomes mx2 plus nx1 so i'll i'll write it here maybe so x becomes mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n so that is your that is the coordinate of x coordinate of r okay so how do i get the y coordinate of r how do i get the y coordinate i'll i'll do the same thing with 
with this so so also r s upon q t r s is the side opposite to this angle here so in this triangle opposite to this angle i have q t so r s upon q t is equal to p r upon r q okay now what is r s here what is r s see this whole thing is y is it not this whole thing is y is it not and what is this this whole thing is y1 so this is this is this is y minus y1 okay similarly similarly this whole is this whole thing is y2 is it not so so this is y2 minus y okay so so we are writing that y minus y1 upon y2 minus y is equal to again mk upon nk so so again i do the same thing kk cancels n multiplies there so n into y minus y1 is equal to m into y2 minus y i collect all the y on to the left hand side so that gives you m plus n y is equal to m y2 plus n y1 so y gives you m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus 